environmental issues continue to be a pressing global concern. Climate change, loss of biodiversity, air, and water pollution. These are only some of the major challenges that our world is facing today. Despite the growing awareness on such environmental issues, there are still significant gaps in understanding and action among many individuals and communities. Join us as we unite diverse voices, build connections, and bridge those gaps towards a harmonious coexistence between nature and humanity. Magandang araw. Sa puntong ito, atin namang tatalakayin ang patungkol sa environmental issues sa mundo. Kaya patuloy niyo pong subaybayan ang aming programang Reconnect, Bridging the Gaps Towards the Greener Future. Naruto po tayo ngayon sa Politeknikong Universidad ng Pilipinas upang alamin ang kaalaman ng mga PUPian patungkol sa environmental issues sa mundo. Hi guys! Ako po si Gabe Heronimo. At ako naman si Jamie Aubrey S. Andrada. Ako, ako si Anjali. Ako naman si Arian. I'm Roxanne Tabinas. I'm Katrina Kanama. Tara! 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 Ito, ito sa pano. Hello po, kuya! Hello po! Hello po! Hello po. Pwede po ba kayong ma-interview? Hello po. Pwede po ba namin kayong ma-interview? About saan yan? Uh, about po sa mga environmental issues po. Okay lang po ba? Ayan, sige. So, una po, ano po yung name at age po natin? Hi, I'm Izigal de la Cruz, 21 years old. Um, Andrea, 22. Jerson po. I'm Rachel Ann Romero po. Uh, I'm Romeo Pasholan. Kurt Mendez, 19 years old po. I'm Micaela and I'm 20 years old. Ikaw po. I'm Alessandra and I'm 21 years old. Ano yung pumapasok sa isip mo tuwing naririnig mo yung salitang environmental issue? Um, sa akin, unang-una yung pollution siguro since sa city tayo nakatira. So number one talaga siya na problem since ayun nga yung sa mga sasakyan pa lang, sa araw-araw na commute. Yeah, um, yun, degradation ng environment, not just pollution pero like yung mga changes over time, minimal or in what scale. Yung sa climate change talaga. And sa global warming, especially dito sa bansa natin. Siyempre una, ayun nga, climate change, global warming, ayun po. Climate change, global warming, and pollution. These are the most mentioned terms when PUPNs were asked about environmental issues. These three also belong to the most important and urgent global environmental issues that humanity must resolve in the next 30 years based on the scientific consensus among researchers and environmentalists. But what are the root causes of these problems? For most PUPians, it's us, humans. Yung urbanization and yung overpopulation po. Na siguro unang-una yung sa tao rin. Tapos tayo rin yung parang pinaka um, may kakayahan. Per, per, ano to? Para kontrolin yun. Pero hindi natin na manage ng maayos. So yun siguro yung ano. Um, overpopulation talaga. I think ayun yung pinaka-cost ng pinaka-problema natin. Kapag na-control yung population, malalesin yung heat. Ayun, tuli-tuli na. Mag magkakaroon siya ng domino. Specifically, overpopulation and urbanization. According to the Intergovernmental Science Policy Platform on Biodiversity and Ecosystem Services, human activities have notably transformed 75% of the Earth's land surface, with changes extending to 85% of wetland areas and 66% of the ocean area. The increase in population also poses a threat to sustainability and 
despite being one of the youngest species on earth, we have consumed more resources in the last 50 years than our planet can regenerate. The Philippines is among the countries most at risk from the impacts of various environmental issues. Our group decided to look into a particular city in metropolitan Manila, a fairly small but highly urbanized city of Marikina. Before being known for its cleanliness and well-organized policies and regulations, the city experienced some of the worst massive flooding in history. Now, let's see how residents and the local government of Marikina continue to adapt to challenges concerning the environment. Nandito naman po tayo ngayon sa Marikina City. Nandito tayo ngayon upang malaman ng mga karanasan ng lokal sa lungsod na ito patungkol sa nararanasan nila sa environmental issue. Partner, ano na? Tara na! Tara na! Ano po yung resulta o yung konsekwensya nga po ng mga environmental issue yung nararanasan po ninyo sa inyong kapaligiran po rito? Pollution na, marami ng pollution. Ang kalikasan natin ngayon eh, nagbabago-bago ang ano eh, yung climate. climate. Dati yung hindi binabaha, binabaha na gagawa ng mga puno, pinuputo. Konting ulan, mabilis bumaha. Flooding is a particular concern for the residents of Marikina. Though it is generally caused by heavy rainfalls, there are also studies that show human activities such as deforestation, poor waste management, and urbanization also influence the occurrence of this hazard. Magulo na, medyo magulo na ang ano natin ngayon. Tapos yung may mga nakakating ang mga puno, kaya tayo binabaha. The Marikina government has initiated several measures to address environmental issues in their city. The residents are highly encouraged to follow the slogans. Tapat mo, linis mo. Kunting basura, ibulisaw mo na. Kunting basura, ibulisaw mo. These are some of the campaigns by their local government aiming to create a cleaner and environmentally sustainable city. Uh, depende sa tao, kakalat sila. Tatapo nila yung basura rin na sa taong basura, no, hindi. Maganda ang ano natin, yung environment, kung walang mapagsamantala. As we wandered around Marikina, we noticed that there were a lot of trash bins and street sweepers deployed within the city. The presence of dedicated street sweepers and strategically placed trash bins play a crucial role in maintaining the city's cleanliness. Magandang araw po. Ano po bang pangalan po ninyo? Uh, Jocelyn Alde. Ano po yung panawagan po ninyo para po sa mga tao o para po sa mga opisyalis po para nga po maiwasan yung mga ganito pong issues na ating nararanasan po? Maglinis. <laughs> Di ba yung proyekte yung dati ni BF yun eh. Tapat mo, linis mo. Yeah. Tsaka yung, alam mo naman dito sa Marikina, di ba? Yung slogan nila na munting basura, ibulos sa mo. Yeah. Talagang marami pong proyekto po na. Oo, oh, maraming proyekto. Hattie Jocelyn also mentioned the ongoing Pasig Marikina River Channel Improvement Project, which aims to widen and deepen the Marikina River to prevent flooding during heavy downpours. Sa ngayon, sa proyekto ni Mayor, yung inaayos yung ilog, ay iwasan yung mabilis na pagbaha. Yung undoy, okay. ang bilis ka, ang bilis na lang. Sa ngayon, hindi na, dahil sa proyekto ni Mayor. Tara, tingnan natin, dito na natin malalaman kung ano ba talaga yung ginagawa nila dito sa lagar na to. Ay, ayan, may tao dun. Tara, Subukan pwede mo tayo magtanong. Hello po. Hello po. Hello po. Hello po. Ano pong pangalan po nila? Roberto Dole Jr. Ano po ba yung nangyari na po dito sa area po na ito? Sa pagkakatanda ko po, marami pa pong puno dito, tsaka mga tanim po. Eh, tinamaan ng project eh. Ano pong proyekto yun, sir? Yung, ano, Bali Marikina, Pasig Marikina River Channel. Pasig Marikina River Channel. Hmm. Ano po yung pangunahing layunin po, sir, ng proyekto na ito? Para mapalapad yung ilog, tsaka mapalaliman. Nilalagyan po ng ano yan, hinuhukay po yung, yan po, yung ilog niyan. Nahukay na yan. 
Ito po, nalagyan ang fundasyon para tumibay ang gilid at hindi po mapasuhin ng tubig. Alos lahat po yan, tatanggalin po yan. Dahil po, tataasan po ito eh. Tataasan po ang level ng ano dyan, ang pagsisimento. Nalagyan po na mataas ang liquid. Mukha mukha pong nakikita nyo sa dulo. Ganun po kataas, nalagyan dito. Para lumaki man po tubig, siya yung mga tiga marikina rito. Hindi po... Uh, para rin po talaga sa kapakanan ng mga locals dito po sa ating Mar sa Marikina po. Opo. Para unong undoy, nakita niyo po si Marikina? Opo, opo. Buti yan, nakahinga eh. Hanggang dito tubig eh. Kami lubog, was out back. Isipin niyo kung gaano kataas yung tinaas ng level ng tubig nito. Yan yung si Marikit yung basis nila para makita kung hanggang saan, kung gaano na ba kataas yung level ng tubig. Yung ulo niya, nakahinga pa siya kami, hindi nakahinga. Ayaw ni Mayor Marcy sana na matanggal yung taniman dito. Kaya lang wala si magagawa kasi national project. Yeah. Kaya yan, ganyan. Binunot yung mga puno, binobol out naman. Apo. Kaya lang yung medyo malalaki na, hindi na kayo. Hindi na kayo. Yun na, pinuputol na yun. So, ito yung ano nila, Department of Environment and Natural Resources. Notice to the public, tree cutting and earth balling yeah. permit. Tapos, ang gagawin daw, di 80 meters, simula rito sa kabilang ko, ang ganda. Ah, sa kabilang ako. Tapos, hukayin daw ng 20 feet. Ngayon, simula nung hinukay itong ilog, wala nang nangyayaring ganun, kahit anong lakas ng ulan. Ayan, hindi na binaba. So, talagang masasabi niyo, sir, na itong ginawang proyekto na ito ay epektibo? Oo, so, epektibo naman. Sanang matatanim man. Mm. Kaya lang, para rin sa ano yun. Opo, kapakan na ng nakakarami. Sir, may mga pag, may pagkakataon po ba na may kumontra na sa programa na ito? Eh marami. Una-una, yung mga kalaban niya, eh, bakit do sa politika? Eh nakita naman, epektibo naman eh. Kung kukontra yung isang daan, isang, isang milyon naman yung makikinabang, di? Doon ako. Kung ano yung mga katulong, sana yun ang iano natin, gawin natin. In our quest for environmental stewardship, consulting advocates emerge as a beacon of hope and knowledge. Their guidance and expertise not only illuminate the urgent challenges we face, but also pave the way for collaborative actions and solutions that hold the key towards a greener tomorrow. Good day. We're here at Far Eastern University to conduct an interview with one of the Um, educators here who's also an environmental advocate. Good day, sir. Please introduce yourself and share about your advocacies. Okay, hi everyone. My name is Jordan John Pico Barles. I am currently teaching here at Far Eastern University. I am a graduate of Bachelor of Science in Development Communication program from the University of the Philippines, Los Banos. Um, my advocacy is all about environmentalism, particularly the protection of our Philippine seas uh, in conservation and protection of our marine ecosystem. Hi guys! So muli, nandito po tayo sa ating singtang paaralan na Polytechnic University of the Philippines. So ito po tayo ulit para mag-interview naman ng isa sa mga student organization na syempre ang focus ay ang mga environmental issues ng ating bansa. Ayan, hello and good day everyone. Isang mapagpalayang araw sa ating lahat. So I am John Axel I. Raimundo. I am the Deputy Chief of Executive of the PUP League of Advocates for Climate Action and Environmental Sustainability. As we all know naman po yung complexities po talaga ng environmental issues po natin, di ba? So gusto po namin malaman, ano po yung masasay nyo dito sa complexity na to? Kasi pumunta kami sa Marikina. Wow, yes. What do you think about dun sa idea na yun? Kasi di ba, kapag pinutol mo yes. yung puno, nakaka-harm siya sa environment. Pero this time, pinutol yung puno kasi daw nakakatulong siya. The issue with the complexity of these environmental problems and issues is always related to humans, to our ways, to our lives. And I do understand na kaya naman ginawa yun sa Marikina is because they want to protect lives. Because yes. they experience it during Ondoy, mm -hmm. na nabigla sila sa tubig, na ang daming namatay because of Ondoy. So we have to find the balance between helping ourselves as a human population, as a human race, and at the same time, preserving our environment. Yes. 
Before we create certain actions, we need to have a basis of, on it. Ano yung basis na yun? Which is the researches. Diba? Sana magkaroon muna tayo ng environmental impact assessment to assess how, to what extent is the environment being affected by your actions. Diba? So, pwede natin yung gawin. Kung hindi naman yun, isip pa tayo na ibang paraan na makakatulong tayo sa environment habang iniisip din natin yung population natin. So, we need to find the balance to meet halfway in terms of complexity. Kasi hindi natin talaga may iwasan na at the end of the day, we are just humans. We need to survive. But we need also to think that the environment should also survive along with us. Because yes. if we leave it behind, it will definitely die. And in that process, we will also die. Sa environment kasi, mayroong necessary margin for the implementers of the, the rules na kailangan gawin. So for example, if for the purpose of alleviating or removing the detriments of flooding, mayroong necessary margin to create those actions for it. Pero at the end of the day, we must take notice and take note of everything that we are doing to our environment and, and in everything that we do, local government and governmental organization, we must do it for the greater good. Complex environmental challenges such as the one presented earlier typically encompass multiple dimensions. And this happens not only in our country. For instance, in the case of air pollution, multiple pollutants emitted from various sources in different parts of the world interact with one another and have multiple effects. These effects can manifest themselves in various scales, including local, regional, and even global. In the case of climate change, mitigating measures such as the introduction of biofuels in Europe may have a negative impact on biodiversity and food production on the other side of the world. Unfortunately, uh, it was documented in 2016, the recent decade, that there is a massive, no, there are massive coral bleaching phenomena in uh, the Great Barrier Reef in Australia. And it, it was also evident in many parts of the country. Dito sa Philippines mismo. Not just in Australia, not just in Hawaii, but sa Philippines na nararamdaman na natin siya. And hindi tayo aware to. Yun yung gusto ka sana, maging aware yung public. Yes. Kasi pag sinabi mong environmental problem and issues, ang alam lang natin, kainin, deforestation, yes, yes. Common. Diba? Very common yes, wildlife poaching. So, hindi na iisip yung kung ano yung nangyayari sa ilalim ng dagat. Ang alam lang din ng mga tao, dynamite fishing. Yes. Diba? So, yun lang. So, gusto ko sana na mas ma-educate yung kabataan regarding that. Para sila mismo, yung paggagalingan ng pagbabago, yes. di ba? Na maipapasa nila in the following generations after that. While environmental issues on land receive considerable attention, the challenges faced by the marine ecosystem tend to be overlooked even if 71% of the Earth's surface is in fact covered by water. Ocean acidification, eutrophication, and overfishing are some of the major threats to our marine biodiversity. To address these issues on land and marine environments, there are many existing laws and policies, but despite these, there is still a long way to go to protect and conserve our environment. It is extremely complex that the search for solutions involves multiple actors, multiple goals, and multiple stakes and values. What do you think are the biggest challenges in addressing environmental issues? Yung kawalan natin ng interest towards the environment, that's the biggest issue. Because we lack basic environmental education. If only people know the impacts of our actions, then definitely their behavior will change. Pero kung i-integrate natin siya sa basic education, makaka-garner tayo ng change in behavior and attitudes, di ba? So, if we cannot start with basic education, why not conduct weekly symposiums, forums, targeting mothers, fathers, barangay officials, talking about these environmental projects and issues, and that's it. That's the start. We can start from that. May alam po ba kayong um, laws and policies regarding sa pagprotect sa ating environment, both locally and in internationally? 
sa local, ang alam ko lang, as of now, yung writ of kalikasan, ito yung legally na nagpo-protect sa kalikasan sa bansa natin, it's also stated in the in our constitution din po. May alam ba kayong organizations or institutions na involved or responsible na i-address ang mga environmental issues na ito? Globally yung Greenpeace, sila naman yung prominent na group na nagsosolve ng ganyan, nag advocate sila na ganito dapat yung changes, palitan yung ganito ganyan. Ano po yung mga policies or laws mm-hmm. po na tingin nyo po yung na-overlook natin nope. ng government mm-hmm. na should be given po ng emphasis and importance pa? Uh, for me, one is the Ecological Solid Waste Management Act of the Philippines. Sa mga basura po? Sa mga basura natin, natin. di ba? Merong nationwide campaign to ban plastic. That is one. Ecological Solid Waste Management Act. We also have the Wildlife Act of the Philippines. It's super outdated already. You see, there's a lot of laws, not so much, I mean, not so much laws in the countries, and all of them are outdated already. So we need to at least amend it para kahit pa paano maging up-to-date siya sa kung ano yung nangyayari sa bansa. What else? Um, the Mining Act of the Philippines. So, medyo na-overlook din yung implementation nun. And the Air and Water Pollution Act. So, marami yung lagi na-overlook. And not just that. Even local um, rules and regulations implemented by city governments and municipal governments and even provincial governments, pwede kasi natin yung strengthen. Diba? So, para matulungan natin yung environment from recovery. Indeed, Meeting human needs and protecting the environment must always come in balance. Recognizing that our well-being is intertwined with the health of our planet, environmental education plays a key role in navigating this balance. It increases public awareness and gives the knowledge and skills necessary to address complex environmental issues. Next to you as an advocate, mm-hmm. what pieces of advice can you share with our audience mm-hmm. on how to deal with the environmental issues we are facing right now? Start from small and eventually it will grow. Diba? Wala namang maliit na bagay na hindi lumalaki. So doon lagi yon magsistumula. Especially with education. Yes. Start from own research instead of you know going online and chatting your friends with such innuendos about your daily lives why not use that time to research about our environment or watch small clips there's a lot of good materials online diba start doon tapos kung maimpluwensyahan ka pursue higher education about environmental conservation or join different ngos volunteer and that's it maliit man yon sa mata na iba malaki na yon para sa environment As we quote, change often begins with the smallest of actions. And the more of us who take these small steps, the bigger the difference we can make. This shows the power when individuals come together in collaboration. Join us as we get to know an environmental student organization here at our university, the importance of student-led efforts and the vital role they play in shaping an environmentally conscious youth community. Can you share kung ano yung formal mission and vision ng organization nyo? Ayan, so our mission is to mobilize a university-wide effort to help raise awareness and contrib- contribute to the global endeavor of alleviating climate change and promotion of sustainability. And ang, a- our vision is to be the primary community fostering young environmental advocates at the Polytechnic University of the Philippines. So from what I read na aming official mission and vision, uh, some may see na it's very idealistic, it's very Farfetch, you know, nagisimula pa lang kayo ang taas agad nung uh, vision and mission niya. Well, uh, we are here to tell you that every ambition starts with a vision. So those visions are really ambition. And ba diba, as a new organization, who are we to... To dream that when when the PUP people, when the scholars nang bayan think of an organization, ay gusto ko mag-join sa isang environmental or gusto namin kami yung unang may isip. Kami yung maging primary source of, uh, you know, a, a network or an echo chamber talagang nag-share ng common values and katuwang nila sa paglaban sa mga problema ng ating kalikasan. 
in order naman po to uphold your mission, vision, and achieve your target goals, can you state some of your past projects or events or activities na plano nyong gawin? Our, uh, our very first uh, on-site project last month, I believe, is the Manila Bay Cleanup Drive. So we are a part and we are a partner of the Makakalikasan Philippines. Uh, if you know, if you know, there's an, uh, an organization also accredited by the Climate Change Commission. So other than that, uh, inside the university, we also do attended uh, Uh, environmental sustainability seminars, uh, climate change awareness campaigns, and oh yeah, the, the webinars and alike. So if you want to join as well, you know, contact us if you, if you share the same vision. Despite being a newly established student organization, 115 PUPians showed their dedication to help and join the PUP League of ACES in combating environmental issues. Having a hundred students come together with a shared burning passion is a powerful starting point for creating a meaningful, remarkable change. Engaging in advocacy efforts not only develops their skills but also instills them with a sense of responsibility and global citizenship which lays the groundwork for a more environmentally conscious society. Would you like to say something pa ba sa ating community, hindi lang dito sa PUP, kundi sa uh, global community to help address the environmental issues na nararana, nararanasan natin ngayon? Uh, what we are experiencing right now is not, uh, is not a joke. So it is no longer a question of do you want to do it? Do you have the time to do it? Do you have the time to participate? But it is a question of do you want to survive? It's about survivabil uh, survivability of uh, of everyone living in this planet. And again, we must, we must put the burden upon ourselves, and we should be we should have the initiative to answer that call because Mother Nature is calling us. It's been calling us for decades, for years, and we are we as the citizens we are you know we are declining that call. But right now, uh, we want everyone to to have the fire that we had and. Talagang sana yung aming mga sinimula, not only us but yung mga well-established or, uh, environmental organization ay talagang magbunga. Iko-quote ko lang yung undersecretary ng uh, Climate Change Commission Philippines. No? So yung simple pagtatapon ng mga basura, yung pag pagkapartake sa mga cleanup drives, don't think of it na it's, an only, it's only a drop kumpara sa ocean ng mga problema. But think of yourselves as the ocean in the drop of the problems. Dahil yung isang drop na yung pag pinagsama-sama mo, collectively, we can make waves. And those waves can help us destroy those hindrances, those boundaries that are uh, hindering the growth of our nation, of our environment, and our world as a whole. Earth has the major components that make it capable of sustaining life. It provides the environment and conditions necessary for the existence of diverse ecosystems, ranging from forests and deserts, to oceans and grasslands. These ecosystems in turn support a wide variety of plant and animal life, forming a complex web of interactions, being a home for many life forms. It is vital to ensure that we preserve biodiversity and protect the balance of nature. Up until this day, we find ourselves amidst pressing environmental issues. These issues are often interconnected and can have widespread effects transcending geographical boundaries. This is a clear reminder of the critical position that we, humans, stand in. These global challenges, if not addressed early and effectively, impose profound impacts on communities, biodiversity, and our overall well-being. Just as the environment provides us with everything essential for our survival, we also have the responsibility to take care of it. Environmental needs are something that ought to be balanced against human needs. It is therefore important for all of us to become aware of the urgency of our situation. But we must also remember that it's not just about being aware and knowing the issues. It's about translating the knowledge into purposeful action. As this documentary comes to a close, let it serve not as an endpoint, but as a catalyst for collective action. The fate of our mother nature lies within the hands of humanity. Every step matters and every choice counts. It's time to stand united in preserving and protecting our environment. Together, let's create a legacy of hope for a more sustainable and greener future. Reconnect, bridging the gap towards a greener future.
Hi, tara may pupuntahan tayo. Balita ko kasi, marami daw tayong matututunan sa lugar na to. Mga ate! Mga ate, eto po ba yung Kali Empierno?